Hi there, this is Katrina from BG Polish and this is my foil nails attempt. Okay, so in this video I started by prepping my nails in my usual way by pushing my cuticles back and using my normal base coat. I then used BC Gold and as you can see by my other fingers I only used one coat to begin with although it was very patchy and decided that I should probably do two coats. I will let you know right now that I was painting my right hand with my left which I am right handed so I do apologise if it's not as you would normally like to see nails being painted. I also know that my camera shot moved. This is because it fell. Whoopsie! Now, I am now applying my second coat to the nail that I just painted in front of you. All of my other nails were painted in the same exact way. This is my nail foils kit. I got it from my husband for Christmas and haven't yet used it. I had a quick look around and it didn't come with instructions unfortunately so I used various other videos. I am going to be using this gold foil. Now you take out your gold foils and your scissors and you simply cut 10 nail sized pieces of foil per nail or so I was told. This is quite easy as it's like the very foilish Christmas paper that some people wrap their presents in. I do apologise for being out of shot. Now. There we go. So, I also will let you know right now that I got a chip on my left hand and had to cut my nails very short. Here is the adhesive. Now you paint a thin coat of this adhesive onto your nails and you wait for it to dry. It will paint on with a creamy look to it, however it will dry clear so you will still be able to see the polish that is underneath your foils if there is any pieces missing. I would like to mention at this stage that the the adhesive will dry clear although it will stay a sticky kind of texture to it so that your nail foils will stick to your nails. Um, and also I have also this would be a good idea to say at this moment that your nail foils may not completely stick to your nail and there may be some areas which you may need to redo as they have had a chunk missing. Okay, so now that my adhesive is completely dry and it is tacky to the touch, we take a, one of the foil pieces and place it just below the cuticle so that it sticks to the nail. You then try and smooth this out as best as possible and press down quite hard so that your foils will stick to your nails when you remove the clear paperish thing. I'm using the pusher that they gave with the kit to in order that it did stick to the nail completely although I found that this wasn't the best possible way to get the look I was after. I also found that you could use your fingers and press down on both sides of the nail at the same time as hard as you normally would. Um, as you see me removing this you can see that there are some tiny little areas which haven't quite been covered up by the foil which to me it makes it look well distressed shall we say um, now as here all I'm doing is I'm going back over as there is some of the adhesive left and so you can stick your foil to it to try and cover up your bald spots 
nine. I, as you can see in the video, I try I touch up with a little bit more adhesive in order to try and cover these up with more foils. very very pretty and shiny now I simply take another piece of the foils and place this on another nail see I tried a different technique here the pinching and pushing process with my fingers What I did notice about this kind of nail art is that once your foil has stuck to your adhesive you can peel it off your nail pretty much automatically and it will leave foil behind but I think if it's going to have stuck in the first place then that's it, There's no, the time will not help this, it's, it's either stuck or it's not. Here you can see me doing my thumb in the same pinching and pushing process with my fingers. You can see there that the foil does automatically stick to your nail. It, um, it holds the second that it touches the adhesive. So you will need to be very careful as to where you stick this adhesive. <laughs> Pinching and pushing. It is dry to the touch the second that you take off your foil paper. Um, and it does give off a very shiny effect. only thing that I didn't like about this was the fact that there are missing pieces to the nail. See, there it goes, sticking automatically. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't like the fact that there was pieces of the nail missing almost and it didn't give off for a very elegant and classy look. It did look like it had already been chipping on my fingers and that it, I, that's not me. I wouldn't be very comfortable with wearing this. But then again, maybe practice is what I need and I will definitely be doing a follow-up video once I have more practice on the foiling matter. There we go. Very pretty. I just wish that I could have been able to get the full nail coverage rather than tiny little crease marks that that left behind no foils. Okay, so although I didn't technically prefer the, this look since there was tiny little chip marks out of it, I did do better on my left hand, which gives me a better idea that maybe it was just that I was using the wrong hand. However, that wouldn't give you a full um, manicure out of this. So I will definitely do a follow up video and let you know what I think. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe and add me back.